So I thought I'd do a tutorial world because Minecraft, to be quite frank, is just hell to learn how to play Minecraft. Well, I mean, it is fun. And I wish I had a tutorial like this when I was learning how to play. So without further ado, let's get started. Chapter one. We're going to, let's just call it tutorial world. Uh, Gadman. Let's do Gadman. Add some exclamation points. All right. And they're basically uh, three modes. There's survival mode. You got to do everything yourself. There's hardcore mode. E once you die, you're dead. The map gets deleted. Everything's done. And then there's creative mode. That is, uh, everything's handed to you. You're f you can fly. And uh, no fun in that, I don't think. So basically, yeah. Creative mode is just too easy. And then there's survival mode, which is what we'll be learning. So you want to leave it on default. You could also go super flat or large biomes. But yeah, you definitely want to leave it on default. You can, these are generated structures, everything fun. You want to leave that on. Generated structures, our villages, dungeons, everything on. We're gonna turn cheats off. Doesn't matter unless you plan to use them. I mean, I say if you're gonna use cheats, why not just go and create a mode, right? All right, let's see it. Let's start. See where we go. Okay, not bad. It looks like we're on a plane. We got a little. We got our dirt. Over there, we got some trees. We're gonna need to go those because the first thing you wanna do in any survival mode ever is go get the trees. So I'm gonna show you my seed because if you wanna play along with me, you gotta type that number in. I'll show you it again. So if you wanna play along with me, Go into advanced settings and just type that number in and you'll get the same exact map and we can do it all together. Lots of fun. So, I'm gonna be on hard and you just punch the tree to take the wood. It's a little bit crazy. I'm just gonna punch you tree. Punch, uddy, punch, punch, punch. And you take the wood. And wood is the first thing that you're going to want because you cannot punch stone. If you try to punch stone, you're just going to end up with a bloody fist. That's not what you want. All right. So crafting um, tables is a prerequisite for everything. You just put oak wood in the crafting box and you get oak wood planks. Then you put one oak wood plank in each uh, of the four squares. Now you have a crafting table, and you can do just about anything with a crafting table. So we'll go into our crafting table. So we'll make some more planks, because we're going to want to make a pickaxe. In order to make a pickaxe, we also need some sticks. So we put one plank on top of each other, and that'll give us four sticks. And uh, we want to take two of the sticks and stack them like so, and then put on the top three wood. Now we have a wooden pickaxe. You could also make an axe or whatever you please. Um, so we got the wooden pickaxe. And we saw some nice... Uh, we saw some nice stone over there, so I'm, I'm going to head over there and grab the stone so we can make some cool tools. So to break a block, you just click. Alright, over there are some seeds. 
We'll, we have two seeds now in our inventory at the bottom. We'll get to those later. Okay, so it's important to mark where you spawn. Spawning is basically where you originally start in the game. And it's definitely important to know where you spawn originally. So we're just going to put a big tower right up there where we spawn. And um, so when we die, we're going to come right back there. If we're, I mean, we're not going to try to die. Nice, some coal. But um, later in the game, if we get a bed and we sleep somewhere else and we die, we go right back to where our bed was. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now, but I'm trying to explain why we need, want to build where we spawn. Say you l get lost, you can make yourself a compass. And this handy dandy compass is awesome because it can just uh, take you right back to where you originally spawned. And that's why we want to start building around where we originally spawned. Close enough so that we can find it if we get back there. So we're taking some of this stone and um, yeah we basically we basically want to take the stone so that um, we can craft better tools than wooden tools because wooden tools are too slow. We're going to get some of this stone and you've probably noticed that differently colored block next to me. That's called iron. We'll save that for later because if you try to break that with a wooden pickaxe it's just not going to work out too well. Um, so we want to wait till we get a stone pickaxe and I don't know what who these cows think they are. You know what? They just come into my house and look at me and they think they run the place. No. I'm the human. I'm higher in the food chain. I will eat you and push you off a cliff. So, my house. All right, back to the pickaxe. Yeah, blocks don't adhere to gravity. I just wanted to point that out. So we got, we're gonna make ourselves a stone pickaxe now. So it's the same thing that we did we, but ex, ex, not the wood. It's the same thing that we did, but now we're going to put stone in the top. Look at that cow. Stupid cow. Hate cows. I'm a cow hater. You could call me that. This is coal. This is coal ore. When you mine coal ore, a coal drop in coal is super duper duper important. Helps you make torches. Helps you make, um, helps you cook anything. Helps you obtain iron ingot out of this iron ore we have that we have yet to mine. As you can see down by the um, wooden pickaxe under it, there's a little, little green bar. And that green bar starts full and slowly goes down the more things we mine or use the pickaxe for, dig or whatnot. Um, the more we use this wooden pickaxe, the more it's going to deteriorate. Better tools are going to deteriorate slower. It goes wood is the worst, then we have stone is the second worst, iron is good, that's next. And then there's gold, which is worse than iron, but uh, more rare. And then there's and then there's diamond. Diamond is what you're shooting for. Everyone wants the diamond, but it's really hard to find. You have to go deep. So that's going to be later, much, much later. So we just whack it, and it drops a little block called iron ore. We'll take the iron ore, and we're getting a lot done in our first day. So now I'm going to show you how to smelt. And smelting is a complex process. 
No, it's actually pretty easy. So we take cobblestone, put it all around the edges, and they eat. Now we go into our thing, and we'll take the coal that I said we needed, and I didn't lie. It's the truth. We needed that coal. I'm going to stop now. Um, so we'll take the coal and we'll put it right there. We'll put two right there. And then we'll put the iron on top. And the fire heats up. And after a while, pop. Iron ingot. So we use the iron ingot for everything. We use the stone or wood for to make tools and um, armor. Yay. And we'll get some more coal. Why not? It's right here. But I'm going to warn you. Caves are a dangerous place. Monsters hide in caves. We'll get to that soon. Once we see a monster, I guess. Um, so we're going to make a hasty retreat after we get this coal. And you can see that it's dropping um, black block which is the coal and also occasionally it drops a little green yellowish orb a little ball okay so it just popped that was what I was talking about and now we got to use our next tool so when it drops a green yellowish orb that's experience and our bar at the bottom shows how much experience we have. We're not going to be able to do anything better when we have more experience. It's simply just our score for now until we get to enchanting. That's much later. Shouldn't have even said that. So let's get an axe because we'll get some wood later. Later, later. And a shovel because everyone needs a shovel to dig gravel and sand and such and now night is coming oh my gosh what have we even done where has the daytime gone what is this video at Our, oh my we're already 12 minutes in okay um so let's go ahead and make ourselves an iron an iron sword awesome iron swords are awesome and if you haven't noticed above that little green bar big green bar we have um we have ourselves two other bars we have a health bar and we have a hunger bar i'm going to kill these cows you kill them by hitting them with your sword or any other thing swords will do it the quickest though um, so those health bar and food bar, the food bar automatically goes down all the time. And there should be monsters coming out, but the health bar only goes down when you're taking damage. And you take damage when you're being attacked, or you drop, or you catch on fire, or you suffocate, or you die of hunger. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, they just keep coming. There's a lot of things. Now I'm going to show you how to make torches, which are awesome, so you can see. So we take the sticks, and right on top of the sticks, we put a coal. And each stick and coal gets us four torches. So, hell, that's a good deal. So we'll get ourselves 12 torches, and now we're going to be able to see in our little hole that we're making in the ground so house number one renting a little apartment a little little apartment we'll just fill this all in um, so the monsters don't kill us that's always a good thing even if they did we wouldn't lose much but we still don't want to die no one ever wants to die that's why it's called survival if it was called Deathel, then hell, we would want to die. But it's not called Deathel, it's called Survival. Oh my, what have we uncovered? Oh, 
Ooh, that's a ravine and some more iron. That is interesting. Well, I'm going to save that for later. But but if my ADD tells me anything, it's to go it's to go explore. But we're not gonna. We're gonna stay right here and we're gonna look for some more coal and a reachable place that we don't have to jump over pits of lava. <sighs> but it's right there. That's lava. It's right there. Iron. Oh my god, I want it so bad. Oh, it's right there. It's so easy to get. Oh. So yeah. So we just dug into the ground and we're safe while all the monsters are roaming about. Well, the zombie apocalypse is happening. And yeah. So, oh. What do we have here? A zombie has intruded. I... So you kill it. We'll kill it. And zombies drop experience when you kill them, of course. And also, they drop, um... They drop... Oh! They drop zombie flesh. Rotten flesh. And rotten flesh can be eaten. Though it's not very tasty. Gives you food poisoning. Not even a joke. It's the truth. So you wanna you wanna eat things like raw beef. Or beef. So raw beef only fills one and a half hunger bars. Um cooked beef, which we do with coal, will fill up four whole hunger bars. So if we chomp this down. Now we have one and a half filled. Yes. We are less hungry. And that is a good thing. Now, the steak, which is what the raw beef turns into, we can eat and it'll fill four. Um, yeah. I really want that iron because I don't really feel like just digging around here searching for nothing. Well, searching for something, but nothing ain't gonna come. Oh, damn it. It's gonna be so hard. Ooh. I will just pop him down. Oh, my. Hello. Oh, gosh. Oh. Feisty fellow. So that is a that is a skeleton. And skeletons shoot. Oh god. Oh god, I was not paying attention. And skeletons shoot. They shoot you. Or me. You if you play. Um They shoot. And their bows do not not feel good. I'm gonna block this off because I don't want any more monsters coming at me. Um, yeah, let's just block this off here. We should be safe anyway, but let's go ahead and block it off. And let's now take the I the hell? Now let's take the iron. Okay. Good. Now that's just gonna fall down very likely. That's not good at all. Alright. Yay. Okay. No, oh, at least it didn't go into the lava. So that iron is important as we have established. It's not the easiest thing in the world to find, though it's not the hardest, as we also have established. Diamond is very hard to find. So we want to get back up to our house, house, house. And we'll explore this in a later episode. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to get out of here. Oh, right, there's more iron. I, did I almost seem upset about that? I love iron. I love it. I'm not upset about more iron. If I could find, I would spend. 
I would spend my whole day mining iron. Just make a ton of iron things. Everything out of iron. All iron everything. Let's go back though. Oh, is it daytime already? My, where has the time gone? Joyous. So, yeah, let's eat the steak and that cures more health. I mean, more hunger. 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 Doesn't cure health. Silly me. I'm so misleading. Oh no, it's still nighttime. So let's put the coal in so it actually does something. Put four coal in. Um, yeah, let's just go try to find some other things. Wow! This is like the luckiest map ever! Iron everywhere! Wow! It's, this is not normal, folks, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Hey, maybe my, the Minecraft gods are repaying me for helping you guys out with a tutorial. That's what it is. They're like, thank you for doing this tutorial. We're going to repay you by giving you candy. Minecraft candy. There's no candy in Minecraft besides iron. And diamond. And emerald. But that's a story for another day. Day! Oh. Oh, oh my. Hello, itsy bitsy spider. You're not so itsy bitsy anymore. Last time I saw you, you were about wee big. Itsy bitsy spiders give you experience. They're just called spiders. There are also cave spiders, which are a different story. But, um, yeah. So we could keep mining down here. But the video is getting long. We've already survived the first night, and it is time to wrap it up. All right. Thanks. If you liked what you saw, subscribe, and goodbye.